Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, following my previous Top Tweaks video, I decided to throw together a new list of awesome tweaks available in Cydia. I'm making this video because I've literally received thousands of questions pertaining to Cydia, which packages are the best and which packages have been updated to support the latest iOS-based devices and the latest firmwares. So I was very careful when creating today's list. All of them are compatible with iOS 6 through 6.1, and most of them are compatible with the newest iOS-based devices. And I am demonstrating all of these tweaks on my iPhone 5. And before I begin, I just wanted to preface by saying if you haven't seen my past top tweaks video, then I'll have an annotation to it on the screen right now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. Otherwise, I will have a link to it down below in the more info. And make sure you watch that video because I highlight a lot of the tweaks that I have installed on my iPhone 5 that I'm not going to cover in today's video. All right, now with that out of the way, I'm going to go over a list of 10 top Cydia tweaks. And in no particular order, coming in at position number one, we have InfiniBoard. This amazing tweak extends the pages of your springboard. Now what I mean by that is you can actually scroll down vertically in addition to horizontally on your device now. And I can't add more icons to the page than default. So as you can see, I'm able to scroll up and down on the springboard pages if I have more icons. And inside of the default settings application, you will find additional options for InfiniBoard. Next, InfiniDoc is brought to us by the same developer, and as you may have already guessed, it allows you to extend your iOS dock. So similar to InfiniBoard, it allows you to add more than the default number of icons, and you can easily scroll between them and set pages. Also, just like InfiniBoard, you have a bunch of customizable options that you can set and you can customize your dock to your liking. Up next, Barrel adds custom animations when you transition from one springboard page to the next. So as you can see, when I swipe to the second page, it has a really nice cube animation. And there are a ton of great animations that come default with Barrel. Now unfortunately, because Barrel isn't 100% compatible with InfiniBoard on iOS 6 yet, I had to actually uninstall InfiniBoard board to be able to actually show you all of the transitions. So let me open up barrel here and I'm going to set the transition mode to random. And now once that's set, it will display a random effect every time I scroll through the pages. So let me just give you guys a few examples here. As you can see, it's automatically changing the different transitions here and almost every time it gives you a new one. Now this is a really great tweak and it adds awesome visual effects. Next we have diet bulletin. This is really amazing and it's very similar to Diet Bar, which is another tweak I showed you guys in my previous video. Essentially what it does is it shrinks the size of the notification banners. So let me go ahead and just send myself a quick text message and I'll show you exactly what it does. Okay, now the text just came in, and as you can see, you have the option to essentially replace the status bar with your banners. It scrolls if the text is too long to display, and after it's been on the banner for long enough, it will automatically fade away. This definitely conserves on space, and it has additional options that you can configure inside of the settings application under Diet Bulletin. Now, I have the style set to status bar. You can also have the style set to thin, which just makes it similar to the default banner. However, it's thinner. And let me just do a quick test of that as well. So now that the message is sent, as you can see, the banner is significantly smaller. My favorite though is status bar. So then it completely gets rid of the banners and it just temporarily changes the status bar to whichever notification you may get. Screen Extender is up next, and this is very useful. So let me open an application that hasn't been updated to support the iPhone 5's four inch display yet. And for this particular example, let's just use Barrel. As you can see, the system automatically places two black bars on the top and bottom, which effectively reduces the amount of content that can be displayed on the iPhone 5 screen. Well, now with Screen Extender, we can essentially remove the black bars and it will automatically reformat the application to automatically take advantage of the fifth generation iPod Touch or the iPhone 5's increased display size. So let me open up the settings application and I'll change the options for barrel inside of screen extender, which I'm navigating to right now. Okay, so let's just tap on barrel. Now, you, as you can see, it automatically places a check mark by it. And once I hit kill springboard to restart the springboard, it should automatically change the application to again, take advantage of the four inch display. Now, when I open up barrel, as you can see, we no longer have the black bars at the top or bottom. Now, this will work on most applications, whether they're from Cydia or actually from the App Store. However, unfortunately, results may vary depending on which application you're actually trying to extend. 
For the sixth tweak in this video, we have OXO, which is basically just a custom multitasking interface. So let me bring up the multitasking tray here. And as you can see down below at the bottom, instead of having just the application icons, it actually shows a little window of the application if it's open. It also shows the icon and the name of the app. Now this, in my opinion, is far superior to the default multitasking tray, and it looks very clean and simply amazing. So let me open up my 3G, and once it fully opens, I'm going to close out of it, and now we're going to reactivate the multitasking tray, and as you can see, the background of the application has been set, and it will now accurately display whatever we viewed last. So opening up the settings application, it should also reflect the current state. So to test that, let's just go down to the bottom here, and we're going to press the home button, and now once we activate the multitasking tray, as you can see, it has updated. All right, next, moving on, we have My 3G. Now, this is a relatively old tweak. However, it has been recently updated to include support for iOS 6, as well as the newer iOS-based devices. Now, this is incredibly amazing. I'm not really going to demo it. However, what I can show you is just the badge that it displays when you open an application over cellular data. But first, let me go over exactly what it does. So you can essentially set applications to think they're running over Wi-Fi, when in reality, they're either running over 3G, 3G HS, SPA Plus or LTE. So you can essentially bypass the cellular data restrictions. Like for instance, if you have it set for the App Store, you can then download applications that are over the size limit. You can also set it for the phone application if you want to FaceTime over cellular data. And I know that option was actually introduced inside of iOS 6, but a lot of carriers have yet to support the feature. So if you use My 3G, that can essentially be your workaround. Now this also does work for other things and other applications, such as bypass passing cellular restrictions. So let me close out of Safari here. And once I open it up over on the left hand side, you will see the my 3G badge to let me know that it is working and that it essentially has tricked the application into thinking that it's on Wi-Fi. Next, we have folder closer. Now this is extremely simple. However, it corrects something that can be extremely annoying. So let me go ahead and go over to a folder here. I have my games folder. And when I open it up, once I go inside of an application and then exit that application by default, the same folder should be open. However, now with this tweak installed, once I open one of the applications and then close out to go to the springboard, it will automatically close this folder. So let me just open up any application. I'll go with Temple Run 2 for now, and let's let it load up for a second. Okay, and now at this time, I'm going to press the home button. And as you can see, it no longer defaults back to the folder. Instead, it just goes back to the springboard. And coming in at number nine is open backup. Now this is amazing. And in my opinion, it is definitely essential for everybody who jailbreaks. So when opening up this tweak, it doesn't look like much. However, it's a free solution to easily backup all of your Cydia packages and also most of your settings. So once you download it, all you have to do is simply tap on backup and then it will automatically backup your sources and packages. And then from there, whether you're set to backup to iTunes or iCloud, it will automatically save the file. And then when you restore in the future and restore from your backup, it will place the file in the same directory. And then all you need to do is go to Cydia, re-download open backup, and then simply tap on restore once you have it downloaded. And then you should should get all of your packages back. Again, it does give you more information on that here. Now there are a couple of other options inside of Cydia that are similar to this that are better known. However, I found that this one is the only one that will truly work. And I actually have a way to test that using the next tweak in this video. So as you can see, it displays the file path that it places the backups. For the 10th tweak, we have iFile, which allows you to browse through your system and also navigate to paths that you otherwise couldn't. So as you can see, it says that it does place the backup in var mobile library preferences open backup files. All right, now pressing the home button, we're going to open up iFile. Now here's our actual backup that will be restored to the device. And then from there, you would use open backup to restore all of our packages. And we can actually check out this backup text file. Now this is in a format that can be kind of hard to understand, but as you can see right there, we have InfiniBoard and InfiniDoc. So now using iFile, we know that all of our packages are indeed backed up. This is an incredibly useful tweak. All right, now if you guys want me to do more videos like 
like this in the future, just be sure to let me know in the comment section. Don't forget this is your last chance to enter to possibly win one of two Amazon $200 gift cards. All you have to do is go to this video or any of my recent videos, read it up and leave a relevant comment in the comment section. It doesn't matter what your comment is, as long as it's relevant to the video, you will automatically gain an entry once it's posted. And finally, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.